Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The Goddess Next Door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online bookstores everywhere today. Not even a week after the jury has come back convicting your Derek Chavin for the murder of George Floyd, we have the Dallas police officer Amber Geiger who shot and murdered Botham John in his apartment filing an appeal to try to get her 10-year prison sentence overturned and get her murder conviction overturned as well. Now, when I take a critical examination of your Amber Geiger, she has a lot of audacity and a lot of gall to file this appeal at this time. In a time where the country has racial tensions at an all-time high, this white female has the nerve to go out here and file an appeal talking about how she wants to get this murder conviction for murdering Botham John overturned and get this 10-year prison sentence reversed or reduced to a criminally negligent homicide charge. And there was nothing negligent about your Amber Geiger's actions back in 2018. No, not anything as related to any action she participated in. Because she's sitting there saying that she, after entering Botham John's apartment, that she thought mistook it for her own, but that's not humanly possible because everybody who has an apartment knows their own apartment based on the furnishings that they have in that home and how they have that home laid out. So most people know how their apartment is oriented when they walk into that apartment. They usually know where the light switch is. They usually know where everything is. And that's why Botham John was sitting on his sofa watching his television and eating ice cream because he was in his apartment. But your Amber Geiger wants us to believe she mistook Botham John's apartment for her own. And that's the reason why she was justified in murdering your Botham John. So that whole argument didn't wash with the state court on the in the initial trial, and it still doesn't wash right now. And again, it's just so audacious to sit there and make an appeal as related to this case, because you're sitting there saying, oh, he, he I, I, I made a mistake, and you should give me a, a lighter prison sentence, but that's not really a, an argument for anything at all, because she's sitting there saying it was self-defense, but it was indefensible because you're in somebody else's home and you would know that from the first minute you step in and to sit there and say, oh, I, I didn't know, that was a, just a complete lie. And what's really troubling about this case, again, is your Amber Geiger's audacity to do this at this time because here you are, again, we're a week after the George Floyd conviction and here she is coming out here filing this appeal for this whole murder. And she's doing this and showing absolutely complete disrespect for the black community and showing complete and utter disrespect for the John family who was stupid enough to go out here and forgive this woman who has absolutely no respect for black people. And that is shown by her going out here even after she got this forgiveness from Botham John's brother and the judge who gave over the case giving her a Bible and embracing her, she slapped all those people in the face by going out here and going out here and filing this appeal just a week after the George Floyd conviction, showing us all she cares about is getting back out here and living her best life not caring about the life of Botham John she destroyed, and not giving a flying F about any of the forgiveness that people gave her 
No, she has no respect for anyone. She has no respect for the court. She has no respect for the country and the racial tensions that are going on. No, it's all about her. And that's typical for many of your white females because a lot of your white females are narcissists and they think the world revolves only around them. And it's all about, if it's not about what they want, they could care less about anyone else. And that's really the most troubling thing about this Amber Geiger is she doesn't really care about anyone. And she's looking to use the gynocentric court system as a way to get a get out of jail free card for herself because now she's gonna try to play the victim and try to either get her murder conviction thrown out or try to get a lesser charge like criminally negligent homicide so that she can get out of jail in a faster time and be able to live her best life at the expense of Botham John, an innocent man who was just sitting in his home eating ice cream and he was murdered by this woman who had no real respect for the law and did not want to take any responsibility for her actions and that it would be just again completely irresponsible if the Court of Appeals actually um, agree grants her appeal because this woman clearly did this and she did this with malice of forethought because to sit there and again murder this man in his apartment this is something that needs to be punished to the fullest extent of the law and it is meant to hold her as accountable not only as a white female but also as a police officer and say that nobody is above the laws that they're supposed to enforce and that's the standard that really needs to be established as related to this case but it just shows how little regard your Amber Geiger has for the law and how little regard she has for the rights and freedoms of others and that's really the most disturbing thing about this whole case is this woman took an oath to serve and protect but she's showing how little respect she has for that oath and how little regard she has for the laws that she was supposed to uphold and she's all about getting her freedom because she wants to be able to participate in her hypergamy she wants to be able to go out here and then live her best life and she doesn't care about any she has not really even thought about what her actions were and why they were wrong and that's usually what people imprison people they want them to do to show some sort of remorse and it's clear to me from your Amber Geiger just going out here and filing this appeal a week after the conviction of Derek Chavin she has not really thought about what she has done was wrong and she is not really remorseful and she has no sense of accountability or responsibility because again to file this a week after the conviction for Derek Chavin shows how she just is an absolutely reprehensible human being and has no real moral compass and just again a complete spit in the face to your Botham John's buck dancing brother and that judge who offered them a Bible talking about forgiveness this woman has not has not even wanted to done anything as related to forgiveness she has not done anything to show that she wants to change and she's just thinking about going on getting on with her life and not caring no different than your Carolyn Donham back who in the days of Emmett Till she after sending those two white men to murder Emmett Till and the conviction came down she divorced her husband disabandoned her brother-in-law and went on married another man and went on with her life and that's really again the most troubling thing about many of these white females who do these types of crimes they have a, it seems like they don't have any sort of moral compass or remorse then that, that's really the most troubling thing here and then when you look at Amber Geiger again no sort of remorse at all and looking to get out from under something that she did not looking for any sort of accountability not looking for any sort of responsibility and not looking to do anything to say hey I did this great wrong to this man I took this man's life and I did something bad to another human being and there, there is, that's what's really troubling about this whole case and it just is again disturbing to see that she's going to talk about trying to get this murder conviction overturned when it's clear evidence she committed this crime and again to file this case again one week after the conviction 
of George Floyd just shows how little respect she has for the law and how little respect she has for every black American in this country. Now, if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to try some of the positive African-American fiction on the SJS Direct imprint, like the ISIS series, the e Steam series, the John Haynes series, and the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, you can find all those books on paperback and Kindle format on Amazon.com. Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available on paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Taking Care of Business. The man who rules the world breaks in a brand new partner to help him take care of business in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Taking Care of Business at paperback and e-readers at online booksellers everywhere.